Hello, welcome to this channel. This is Dr. Paul Nelson bringing you a topic named Love Pain is a Sign. Love Pain is a Sign. Well, you can't help it. You are going to have pain whenever you involve yourself with somebody else who is different from you. The fact that you as a man or a woman are different from your partner is enough to tell you you are going to have some kind of frictions between the two of you and pain always is a sign that something needs to be put right it doesn't matter what is the source of the pain whether it's emotional or physical it's a sign that something need to be done to eliminate the pain now, yes, it depends upon your uh, self-esteem, but I want to tell you, you don't deserve the emotional pain you are going through in your relationship. You don't deserve at all. Why? Listen to me. When somebody tells you, I love you, he or she should be uh, the person who will work as hard as she can, as hard as he can, to make sure that you are happy. It means that well, when somebody tells you, I love you, he's promising you that I'm the one who I'm going to try all that I can to make sure that you are happy, you are happy, you are safe, and in a progressive manner, you'll be a happy person in this relationship. So when you tell somebody, I love you, you are giving him a promise that you will be the major contributor toward his happiness or her happiness. And therefore, when instead of bringing uh, happiness, instead of bringing joy to you, he or she is bringing pain to you, it's a sign that I need to stand up against the source of pain. And therefore, for those who are not yet married, if you haven't built a good foundation for your relationship, I'm telling you, you are going to suffer a lot. You are going to be tortured emotionally. Why am, I, why am I saying this? You need to be in a relationship whereby you always feel free to ask if something doesn't make you feel good. I mean, if you are in a, in a relationship and you are not feeling free enough to ask what you need to ask, to question, to just to be sure that everything is okay. If you're not free to do that, you are in a prison kind of relationship. Well, let me tell you why I brought this topic to you. Because emotionally, you need to always feel good about yourself. If somebody is causing pain to you, he's sending a message, you're not good enough. And that's, it's not a good message to anybody. Everybody, everyone is good. Because when God created, he said, everything is good. When God said, what he created, he said, everything is good. And he said, it's not good for a man to stay alone. It's not good for a man to stay alone. It's not good. It's a good thing to be in a relationship. Now, why? If it's a good thing to be in a relationship, why are you suffering? Why are you in pain? You can't sleep. You can't eat properly. I mean, you're not excited about your life. You're not, you're not proud of the person you are in relationship with. Why? When God said, when God said, it's not good for a man to be single. It means it's a good thing to be in a relationship. And therefore, you deserve all the goodness from your partner. But the thing is, because we are not perfect. We are bound to make some mistakes. We are bound to really rub you in the wrong way. And therefore, we need correcting one another. We need to make some adjustment. Because we are two different people. You are two different people. Without adjustment, you can go along well together. Listen, girl. Listen, young man. Do you want to be happy? <laughs> Do you want to be happy? The only time you feel that you need to hide something is when you want to fart. F 
A R T. <laughs> you see, it's not the only time when you don't feel you need, I need to hide this. When you want to fart. Remember that word F if you don't know what it means, look it in the dictionary. F A R T. But when you are in pain, when somebody did something will upset you. For you to be afraid to tell her. For you to be afraid to tell him that I'm not happy about this. You are ruining the relationship yourself. Why? Because it doesn't matter whether he knows it or he doesn't know it. The fact that you are hiding something within you, it keeps you from being excited. It keeps you from being warm toward your partner. And he or she will notice it. But the thing is, you'll never know what kind of interpretation he's going to give to your coldness. Because he used to see you as a warm person. You see the, the warmth of your feelings going out toward, towards him. There's some waves of joy, of excitement when you're talking to a person you love. When you're talking to somebody special, even your voice gives certain vibes. Certain vibrations. Which this person is excited to see me. This person is excited to talk to me. This person is ex exci excited to be with me. And so if you keep those pain within you, they'll keep you from really being excited about the person you, you, you are in relationship with. And he will notice and he is going to react to it without you knowing it's that he's reacting to something. He's going to react to your coldness, to your lack of excitement about him or about her. He's going to react, but you won't know why he has changed. You never, never know why she has changed because she is reacting to something you are hiding. You don't know it because it, it is giving it, its vibrations out of There's some certain waves getting out of you toward that person. Whether you like it or not, there are certain waves you can see them, but those waves are going to affect the way your partner feels about you. And that's not a good thing to have. So be careful. You got the right to share your feelings and let your person see your feelings and act on the way he can really help you feel a good person. You must be proud of yourself. With all your weaknesses, with all failures, still, you are a good person because God kept your life to this hour. So be proud of who you are. The Bible says somewhere in the book of St. John, the first letter, chapter 4, verse 18, where there's a true love, there's no fear. You go to yourself, if you're, if you're a Christian, go to your Bible. First letter to, of John, the epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 18, where there's true love, there's no fear. So don't let fear be a deciding factor. Never let fear be a deciding factor in your relationship. Don't say, well, if I tell him, he'll get angry. If I tell her, she'll be upset. No! You, she deserves to hear it. You know what? Your pain should be a concern of your partner. So he must be involved. See, your, concern, your pain should be a concern. Your, person, your, 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 your partner should be concerned about what goes on within you. If it's a painful thing, she'll be the person to help you get it out of the system in your life. Do you believe me? You deserve to be a happy person. Don't keep your pain inside. Show them and share them. And let your partner know that you are in pain. Let him know who you are. Let him know how weak you are. Whether you're weak, let him know. If you are if you're jealousy, let him know your jealousy. He need to adjust himself to that fact. He need to adjust himself to that fact. Short of that, you're ruining your own life. God bless you. Please subscribe if you can. Subscribe. I'm bringing you another topic with a title. He's cheating you via Facebook. He is or she is cheating you through Facebook. There's another topic coming to you. So subscribe and be a member of this channel. My God bless you. Bye.